Hi. Now in this question, we're asked to find the integral of e to the x plus 2, all squared, integrated with respect to x between the limits x equals 0 and x equals 1. And we've got to give our answer in terms of e. So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video if you'd like to have a go at this. Uh, do come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, first of all, I'll just put the integral down. That is, we're integrating from 0 to 1 of all of e of x plus 2 all squared. Okay, and we're integrating that with respect to x. Now, to do something like this, what we need to do is expand the bracket. Okay, so if I expand the bracket in the usual way, square the first term, that's e to the x times another e to the x. So you'd add the powers and get e to the power 2x. We do twice the product of the terms. The product is 2e to the x. So if we double that, we get 4e to the power x. And then we square the last term. So that's going to be 2 squared, which is 4. And we're integrating all of this with respect to x. OK. Now, we should be familiar with integrating e to the ax, where a is a constant. It's a standard formula. The result is 1 over a multiplied by e to the power ax. OK. I'll ignore the constant here. So we just put that down. That's a result then that you should be familiar with. You generally see it in formula books. OK, but uh, good idea to remember it. So we just integrate now according to this rule here. So for this one, e to the 2x, that's going to be a half e to the 2x. And then for plus 4e to the x, that's just going to be 4e to the x. And the integral of 4, well, that's just normally 4x. And we've got this going between the limits of x equaling 0 to x equaling 1. And in the usual way, if we just substitute 1 in, first of all, we're going to get half multiplied by e to the power 2 times 1, that's e squared. And then plus, next term will be 4e to the 1, or just simply 4e. And then we've got plus 4 times 1, so that's plus 4. And from this, we subtract what we get when we substitute x equals 0 in. This will be e to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So you've got a half times 1, that's going to be a half. Again, this will be e to the power 0, which is 1. 4 times 1 is 4. And then the last term, 4 times 0, well, that's going to be 0. So what we've got here now is a half e squared plus 4e. And then we've got 4 here minus 4 and a half. So it's going to give me minus a half. All right.